So it's the end of the first season. Three games left. Triple header today. Hi guys, it's Renji. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Let's get into it. Before we get started today though, I do want to just make an announcement. So as we are at the end of the first season, as you can see, not quite yet, but nearly. Um, our new save is going to be starting sometime this week, the Moneyball save. If you want to know more about that, check out my Twitter and there'll be a link to the blog post down below in the, the description. Go ahead, check that out. Um, that'll be running alongside this one. This one will still be going. This isn't just a beta save, but this won't be as regular. You'll probably get about six monthly updates, maybe f maybe a bit more than that. Um, as obviously this is going to be a five-year plan, five-year project. Um, so we'll keep going, but not daily with this one. In terms of this save then, as you can see, three games left and you will be drawn straight to the table, I'm sure. As you can see there then, we have indeed secured Champions League football back at the Mastala with three games to go. Real Madrid are confirmed champions on a massive 89 points with three games to go. They could still get as high as 98 points. Unbeaten still, they could actually do an invincible season, which is astonishing. Obviously, one of our remaining fixtures is against Madrid, as well as Atleti and Real Sociedad, who are out of the top six. So, not much to play for in these games other than place, which in turn is money. So then, since last time, obviously being the Levante game, which we did win 3-0 thanks to goals from Was and Gomez, we did struggle a little bit with against Sevilla, Bilbao and Getafe, drawing the two games of Bilbao and Getafe, perhaps, uh, games we were expected to win. But a 2 0 win did help us secure fourth, top four, um, along with the two points picked up in the other two games. But today, then, uh, we've got the Madrid doubleheader. Um, we will also play Sociedad in the final game of the season just to get through uh, the final final day. Soak it in. Welcome back, European football, obviously. So, without further ado, then, we will go ahead and get into the first game against Atletico Madrid at home, second versus third. A win here will make the gap uh, eight points with two to go, so it will secure our place in second. So then, the squad. Uh, we've gone back to our 4 2 2, two or 4 2 4, um, with the usual back four. The only change there being Davis is coming for Gaia, as you can see um, down here. He's struggling a little bit for condition um, with the games not mine, and we don't want him to get injured before the end of the season. Um, Two midfielders then, you can get Musa younger potential based players. Um, they've been playing well recently, we'll, we'll give them a chance. Out wide then, Guedes, Soler on the left, right, uh, up front then, Alexander Pato, Maxi Gomez, Alexander Pato. Um, we're going to go ahead and get straight into the match. So then, for the Atleti Madrid side, as you can see, Jan Oblak in goal. I'm not going to try to pronounce the right back, but we know he is Savage. Felipe in centre back, Hermosa left back, Torreira, Lorente, Saul, Carrasco, and Correa in midfield, and Luis Suarez up front with a very talented bench. Um, it could be a tricky one. Chance here is as a highlight with us on this right hand side. Correa and Musa, brilliant ball in from Correa, and it's headed over. The, it's hit the crossbar, in fact, viewers. Knocking on the door. Half an hour gone and not many highlights yet, but there is a chance with one here as Torreira picks the ball up. There's a lot of bodies in this attacking third for Atleti. Unusual for them. Some good interplay and Suarez is through and it is 1-0 to Madrid. Luis Suarez, 21st goal of the season, unreal. So return and this could have a crucial impact on the league table. Just not enough pressure. They're able to pass it round us. Suarez with a nice little flick back to him by Carrasco and he just... Blasts it into that bottom left hand corner there. Should do better. We're going to demand more and we're going to go up to positive to try chase a result now. So, in just over five minutes left till half time, we're going to make a change in tactic here. We're going to go back to 4 3 2 1, 4 2 3 1. And we're going to put Alexander Pato on this left hand side because he does can he can play there. So, hopefully, you'll be able to use um, his ability to be his man a bit better than he is currently as we put Guedes on winger and we'll put Soler on uh, attacking and playmaker attack, attacking midfielder so then viewers half time is upon us and as you can see actually saying that perhaps they deserve to be in the lead um, not a really particularly strong half from us we're going to get in the dressing room and we're going to say we need to do better so then underway for the second half Atleti kicking off hopefully we can push on and claw a goal back so we've got a long throw, 
can we make something of it? No, it's going to be found by Oblak, and they've got a chance to attack here. Put the long ball over to Suarez. I'll just turn the highlight speed down a little bit. And Musa's on it here. Select. Good play on this right-hand side. If he can get in lots of space, overlap is on if he can find him. He's looked for Pato. Good interchange. Salah hits it, and it's a goal. His sixth goal of the season. Brilliant finish from Salah there to make it one all. Just five minutes into the second half. You can see there, absolutely brilliant interplay. And Soler gets the space, absolute top bins, no stopping that. Got another throw in here, can we make something of it as Carrera picks up the loose ball? Got a lot of bodies forward, here's Soler and Musa, some good play. Lee Kangin has been brilliant, and a brilliant ball to find Davis. Goes to their ball line, the ball's put in, it's Maxi Gomez, heads home, 2-1. Absolute great finish and great work from Davies on that left-hand side. Well played out to him and he drives the dead ball line. Maxi Gomez heads home. Now Letty have the chance to counter as they pile bodies forward. Here's Torreira, finds Carrasco, he's through on goal, he's at the post and it's cleared. And that will be the end of that highlight. So we are going to make a few changes. Uh, 20 minutes in. Uh, 20 minutes left. I'll just do over. We're going to make a change or two. We're going to bring Maxi Gomez off. We're going to put Pato up front. Because Maxi Gomez is looking a bit worn. He's not been excellent. So we're going to bring on Vinicius Jr. Um, and we're also going to bring off uh, Musa. Because he has... Not made the impact. I'm going to bring Was on for him, um, and then we might make another change in about ten minutes or so when the legs start to drop a bit more. I like still here with Alessi Carrasco who drives forward. He beats his man. Can he get a shot away after just hitting the post? It's cleared, but only as far as <sighs> living on the edge. There, viewers, as Lee Kangin and Guedes have both picked up um, knocks or injuries, which is not ideal. So we're going to bring on Cherishev. For Guedes, we're going to put him on winger. Actually, we'll keep him on inside, put him on inside forward. Um, and as for the Kangian, we're going to bring it in Hamza Chudri. We've got a corner with just 10 minutes to go. The ball's putting it off the crossbar from Dikabi. Oh, that could have finished it. That could have finished it. Just five minutes to go. We've moved down to cautious. As you can see, then the gap at the top of the table in second will be eight points between Atleti which will secure us second place in La Liga. So then, a few minutes left of the game, inside of time, and it looks like we will go ahead and secure our position in second. Yep, we will, I believe. And as you can see, a bit of a smash and grab in terms of XG there. But we'll take it. I'm not going to complain. As we get into there, we're going to outstretch arms. Good win. Well done, boys. So then, as you can see, that win has secured our position in second, with eight points of the gap to third, being unclosable, with just two games left for Atleti, a maximum of six points, and Barcelona unable to catch us, being 13 points adrift with nine on the table. So we're going to go ahead then, we're going to get into our final two games of the episode, Real Madrid and Real Sociedad. Um, very brief highlights for, the, for those two games, because they don't really matter that much. So then we are here picking our team for the Madrid game. Obviously a few issues we are without. Um, Guedes, who got injured in the last game, he's out for likely the remainder of the season. Um, he may make an appearance in the final final game for a few minutes. Um, Rakic is still injured, not ready to be selected. Uh, Blanco, not really ready to play. Wilshire still injured as well, so a few players if I will take him off the bench. So missing a few players as well as uh, Vinicius Jr. being unable to play, obviously, um, against his parent club. But we are going for the 4-3-2-1 or 4-3-3. With Chowdhury in the middle, there's a ball with him in midfield and Musa is there beside him. Pato in that in forward, inside forward on the left, Lee Kang in on the right, Maxi Gamers up front and the usual back five. Hopefully we can upset Madrid, stop them getting the invincible season. Um, and also match our record points tally. So without further ado, let's get into it. As we get underway for the first half, hopefully we can uh, get into the game nice and early and not have a worry as we've got an early corner. Dikabi gets on it and it's headed over, but a good sign, viewers. 
is Malcolm. Finds Casemiro, finds Hazard with a lot of space, and Hazard's going to shoot, and it's Benzema. <sighs> Too much space on the wing. Hazard shot. Hits Sillison, and an easy tap in for Benzema there. So in half time, 1 0 to Madrid. We're going to get in the dressing room and we're going to say, show me something else in the second half because it was not good enough for reviewers. We're going to go down to positive and we're going to demand more straight from the off and hopefully we can get a goal back quickly like we did against Atleti. We've got a highlight with Madrid here. Chowdhury clears it, but not far. It's back with Casemiro. Again, space on the wing, this time for Carvajal. And it's 2-0 to Madrid. We've got to go for it now. This is just not, not good enough. Too much space on the wings. Once again, we have this problem every time we've played Madrid, is we cannot defend the width. And that, who is that? Gaia. That Gaia. You, Gaia, you can throw your armour, but you shit in the air. So then, half an hour to go, we're going to make a change. Lee Kangin is going to go off because he's not been great so far, and Cherishev is going to come on in his place. We're also going to put Soler in a more attacking position um, and move back to 4 2 3 1. We're going to put him on um, advanced playmaker on attack. Hopefully, we can see a few changes. Chance with a long throw, though. Can we get a goal back as the straight into the keeper's arms. I think we're going to remove that long throw. It doesn't work the same way it did at the beginning of the season. Courtois takes the time. Fires a ball over the top. Di Carpi just about deals with it. And Madrid is still leaving men up. They're still going for it. But Maxi Gomez could be through here. No. Too much on it. Courtois is going to look to go long again, I'd suspect. Yep, wasting time. His was looks for Maxi Gomez. He finds him this time, and Maxi Gomez is through on goal. It's a good block, good tackle. No, nope. are we going to see another Madrid goal with Asensio on the ball? Here's Isco. They've brought on the big guns, bloody hell. Chaudhry wins it back, and now it's a 2v2 where third is arriving. And that, he's on a yellow card, and you've given them the ball. All you have to do is kick it past him and hope he brought you down but he's giving it back to Cherishev the former Madrid man you've got to go back we're going to demand more surely not surely not seems all right so then full time 2-1 the final score XG saying perhaps we were unlucky and I'd say we weren't I'd say we were poor I think um, all in all Madrid probably deserved the win in that second half alone um, two goals just either side of half time killed us off and, and we're going to say I'm not happy with the performance so then we're wasting no time we're getting into this third and final game of the episode the final game of the season as well um, against Real Sociedad as you can see moving back to that 4-3-3 that we played against Madrid it wasn't as successful last time hopefully it'll be better against Sociedad here um, a few changes made, notably uh, Alfonso Davis coming in for his final game of the club this, because obviously he goes back to Bayern, um, replacing a guy, Vinicius Junior also will go before he goes back to Madrid, coming in on the left hand side, uh, Chaudhry, Soler, Musa in the midfield, Lee Kang in on the right, Maxi Gomez up front. As for the bench then, um, we'll show Rakic and Guedes not fit enough to make it, so they will not be finishing the season off. Um, but we're going to head get into the game. Hopefully, we can pick up three points on our final game of the season. So then we get underway in the final game of the season. Uh, Real Sociedad kicking off. Hopefully, we can batter them and put a nice little cherry on the cake for what has been a very successful first season with such a difficult circumstantial team. On the goal kick then, another highlight, considering this is on key highlights viewers, there's quite a lot of highlights so far in just the opening 10 minutes. Lee Kang in here. Drives cross field, can he do something with this run? He's Vinicius Jr, he looks to shoot straight at his man. Alfonso Davis has found Soler, and Soler drives it into the back of the net to make it 1-0 after just 8 minutes. Brilliant run from Lee Kang in. And the second ball picked up by Alfonso Davis finds a lovely through ball and Soler slams it home. 
10 minutes gone, 1-0 to Valencia. Hopefully this will be a sign of things to come and we'll enjoy our final game of the season. 25 minutes gone then, not really many highlights so far since the opening. Lively 10 minutes other than that finish his junior shot. But we have got a throw in with Carrera. Ball goes towards the keeper, the keeper misses it and it's about to Chowdhury who's hit it and wow! What a way to score your first goal in your final game. Offside, no. No. A season that started off with a lot of controversy in VAR. Let's just have a look at this then, shall we? Apparently Maxi Gomez was in the offside position. There he is, number 22. How on God's earth does this interfere with play? Maxi Gomez with the free kick. He's found the back of the net. This one will stand and he gets his 22nd goal of the season. His 20th in the league as he can still win the golden boot for us this season. Uh, you'll have to get a few goals today. I mean, and arguably, the keeper could have done better there, viewers. So then, that is half-time. 2-0 up. Arguably, should have been 3, but for a ridiculous VAR decision. Hopefully, we can get a third goal, kill off a tie, and enjoy the final minutes of the season. The corner is going to be swung in. It's not dealt with effectively. Another chance to put the ball back in, and it is going to be 2-1. And if we crumble now, I'll protest far. As oh, I take that back. I love you far. <laughs> Fifty minutes ago, then we're gonna make a few changes. We're gonna bring off Soler, rest his legs, bring on Yaya Torre because it'll likely be his final game. Um, Vinicius Junior is gonna come off as well, making his farewell with Pato coming on, and. I think we are also going to bring off Alfonso Davis just so he doesn't get sent off. I bring on the skipper. Ten minutes ago, then, not another highlight then since we last saw you, um, which I'm fine with. Hopefully, it'll stay this way and we'll secure um, the three points. So, we're into added time then, four minutes left to be played of the season, and it looks very much like the three points are secured. Um, and we will go ahead and Round off the season there then with a three point and a tuna win. Should have been three, arguably um, a 29th minute goal ruled out for a dubious offside. We're going to get in the dressing room and we're going to say, I'll stretch, well done lads, uh, that was a good win for us. So then there we have it, the first season of FM21 is completed. Uh, as you can see, we finished a respectable second. Um, if we have a look at the season preview, they did they say fourth, but we were predicted to finish sixth. Um, but as you can see, second place, 25 wins, the second most amount of wins in the division, six draws, seven defeats, and a tidy, tidy um, goal difference of 38, 81 points. Uh, Madrid did in fact complete an invincible season with 30 wins, eight draws, absolutely astonishing. From then, Barcelona perhaps the biggest underperformer in fourth place, a massive 26 points off the league so then viewers thank you very much for joining me on today's episode the final game of the season is done first season all checked off um thank you for all the love you've shown on the series so far um i hope you've enjoyed it uh as much as i have uh, going forward then we are obviously gonna next episode will be a season review and likely the transfer window highlights uh, there'll be a few things that we will see throughout that um, series wise this one will take a seat back seat um, probably twice a week videos on this as well as my moneyball save check the description for links to the blog posts about that if you want to know uh, other than that i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you